Hello, baby. Thank you, Raymond. Um, that's right, Tom Brady. Tom, Tom fuck fucking Brady. Brady. Uh, let's do a little uh, Patriots mailbag, if you would. I, I had a couple subjects here we can go on, but let's start with the Brady. The Brady news. Uh, Robert Kraft slurred his way through the, uh, I think it was <laughs> NFL Network this morning that he was on. That was bad. God damn, that, that dude's dumb gonna, shit in that. He can't talk. Um, He's old. But he did announce that Brady would be uh, in the stadium for their home opener against the NFC reigning champion Philadelphia Eagles uh, to celebrate him. That's basically where it ended, right? They, they no, didn't say they were going to be. There's 20 years of celebration for this man who's done everything for Gillette. There's been 100 years of NFL, and Tom Brady's been a champion for 20% of the seasons or something like that. And he's going to. Yeah, but he didn't say that they were going to retire his number or no. do anything like that. But he did say that there would be multiple celebrations. Yes. Yeah, he indicated this was the only the first. God, what do you think about that? Love it. Can't sell. You can't sell tickets. You're such with Mac a fuck snip snapper on this, Ray. You can't, sell, can't sell jerseys with Mac Jones. Can't sell tickets, but bring back Brady. You know that fucking opening game is going to be. Everyone will be there. That stadium will be packed. Standing room. The fucking new video board scoreboard is going to be uh, in, unveiled. Oh man, what a way to do it with fucking Tom Brady on there. And then you're going to see a shitty performance, and the Eagles are going to stomp down our fucking throats. Yeah, I mean, they could have picked a game where the Patriots could have potentially won. Because There's not a lot of those, Bobby. There's not a lot of those. Well, on against schedule. the Eagles is in one of them. No. But, I mean, I don't know. Whatever with Brady. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously going to happen. But, like, I don't want to sit here all, all year and just watch them, like, dick ride Brady, like, every month. Like, I do. Bring back I don't the dr- want bring... to watch that. Oh. Like, I don't want it. Like, I, I'm, like, over Brady. I'm over it. Like, he left. Like, that was three years ago. Like, I love the guy, but, like, I don't want to, like, I don't, I'm not looking to relive it. No. I am. I, I am. The more that I think about when I first heard it, I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, because there was not, there was never a, a real proper send-off for Brady. Um, the Titans game, pick six to end his career. No one knew if he was coming back or not. Everyone, you know, playoff game ending. And then the uh, when he came back with Tampa, they booed him, which was great. Um and that was a semi goodbye, not really. So to have to have an immersive, uh, thank you, sixty thousand people strong. Thanks, Brady. It's gonna be it's gonna be a moment. It's gonna be a really yeah, cool yeah, moment. But the more I think about it, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. If you want that moment, do the whole thing. Retire the jersey, like bring all of his bring all of his teammates out, like make it an actual. Like one time, really massive fucking event. What it sounds like is they're gonna trot him out on the field to flip the fucking coin, put him up in the booth, and then pull us all along on a string until the next, till they retire his number or they put his fucking gold cleats up there in Foxborough or whatever. He gets the red jacket. They're just gonna keep pulling the string with the whole goddamn Brady thing. And I don't want that. I want him to be Larry Bird. It's like, Retire, get your number. I don't want to fucking see you again. Yeah, Come it, back it, in it, 10 it, years, like when they win the Super Bowl or something. I disagree with both of you because, man, there is nothing to look forward to with this team. You're such an asshole. No, I'm not such an asshole. Why do you know I fucking bring this guy in? He's God. He was God. Every guy knew so What do you want to do? You want to live in the past? You want to yes, live I in the do. fake yes, past? Yes, Ray, do you understand do. that Tom Brady does not give a fuck about you? Okay? And he I doesn't don't care, care. Bobby. I don't care. fuck. I don't care. First of but all, seeing him come if, back, he found, if he found out about you, he would literally throw up in his mouth a little bit. Okay? <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Hold on. No, I wouldn't. guarantee that he would. No, he would look at him. He would look at him as a cash cow for yeah. pliability and uh, supplements. First of and all, then, he'd look no, at that Bud no, Light no, and he'd be no, like, no, what no, a queer. No, no. He, he would not <laughs> let me on his supplement routine because it would fail miserably with me on it. I just, I don't want to do the whole Brady thing. I don't want to do the whole Brady thing. I want to be better than that. I want them to be better than that. And honestly, I think they will. I think the team will be more interesting this year than Tom Brady coming back to Gillette to wave his hand. Like yeah, what's interesting princess. is watching football games, not watching retired players walk around and talk about what happened. It's going like, to be, it's going to be five minutes of you, of, of past euphoria. Uh, yeah. Keep talking. And, Keep going. <laughs> Hold on. Keep going. Keep going. What else? What else is it going to show? Here's something to remember. How close was Randy Moss to catching that ball in 2007? 
Did it go down? No. Did it go down? No. There you go. There's some of those memories too. Exactly. Some of those are all in, mixed in there as well. Wes Welker, douchebag. <laughs> yeah, you maybe know who just... won't be there? Giselle, that fucking whore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you won that one, Ray. Maybe she just uh, shows up. She just uh, parachutes in. <laughs> just, just come down the whole way, just like that to Brady. My husband cannot accept this approach by himself. Yeah. <laughs> the jiu-jitsu uh, instructors little... like uh, contorted around her the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> With his D <clears throat> firmly inserted. Uh, <laughs> let's switch gears here. Speaking of inserted, Billy O'Brien is uh, inserting his uh, rough, tough guy, big, tough guy, uh, strong willed. But Bill O'Brien, I don't think, I think, do people forget what Bill O'Brien was? Bill O'Brien was kind of an asshole. Bill O'Brien is a strong willed football coach. Um, and it seems like, by all reports, that's what he's trying to come back come and instill again within the uh, the Patriots offense. The latest report was around the wide receiving core, and they had a little lackadaisical under uh, Patricia. Go figure. There was not a lot of attention to detail, if you would. Mm-hmm. And O'Brien's quote was, if you can't do it right, you're going to be sitting next to my ass on the sideline. Uh, your thoughts. We haven't talked a lot about O'Brien coming in. Just uh, your thoughts on that, that kind of quote and what he's going to bring to this offense. Go ahead, Bobby Bukaki, because you're the uh, college football expert. Well, I, I, I assume, I mean, two of the receivers that played primary roles were already gone, and Myers and Aguilar, and obviously they had a part in this. He he could be talking to Kendrick Bourne, because obviously he was relatively sloppy last year. Taekwon was a rookie, and Juju Smith-Schuster, Devontae Parker. Well, Juju Smith-Schuster wasn't here, Devontae Parker. I don't know if that was his problem or not, but... Pretty much he's he's probably I, I don't know if he's also backing up Belichick and saying, well, it wasn't exactly the plays the players were fucking up. So I, I don't know if that's what that was, too. But either way, he's just laying a new he, he's setting a new foundation saying we're going to do things exactly how I say them or there's going to be repercussions. But I mean, I'm sure Patricia said that, too. So it's just normal coach speak. I don't think Patricia did say it. No, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I, I bet you didn't. I think that. I think Patricia walked in with his eyes closed, not knowing what the fuck he was doing, and just basically was asking for help. Um, but anyway, that that's beside that. I, I have a little, I have a nugget that I want to go off of what you just said, Ray, uh, Bobby. But Ray, did you do you have any uh, thoughts on Billy O'Brien putting his foot down here with the new offense? I've seen it. It's a thing as old as time. Good cop, bad cop. Good cop, Bill Belichick. Bad cop, <laughs> Billy O'Brien. <laughs> Man, Belichick's I, not good cop, you stupid bastard. He's, he's, tra- he's what changed, the hell man. are you talking about? He's changed. <laughs> you stupid bastard. You know that Bill Belichick has changed his ways. He's not the same coach as he was in that 20 year run. He's cha- he's the more of a trying to take. He's literally the exact same fucking oh. person. He <laughs> yeah. does the exact He might be worse. Shit. He might be worse. I think he's letting the I think he's letting the corner like do eight it. Guys that only play special teams. Can I give you a real good cop backup? Belichick is the bad cop here uh and this goes into uh, a little bit of chess first checkers for you belichick bobos ray uh listen up let's see if the table rises on this uh re- directly immediately after the draft first press conference first press outing after the draft bill belichick went out there and for the first time in months almost a year actually mentioned mac jones's name when asked <laughs> about him uh, in a pretty shitty way, he said, look, he's been our quarterback and he's not our quarterback. We'll see how it goes, basically. But he said, Max, our quarterback, hasn't mentioned his name for months. And a lot of the scuttlebutt around the beat guys from the Patriots is Bill Belichick was trying to uh, circle the wagons around the league, trying to get them to think that he was going to trade Mac Jones or and or draft a quarterback within the uh, in the NFL draft. In doing so, fuck with the heads of the uh, of the teams around him and and who they drafted and what they were going to do. And uh, I'll just piggyback on the uh, O'Brien thing. Are they now, after a several month long slog of dragging Max through the mud, pumping his tires a little bit with O'Brien saying, "Look, the wide receivers were trash last year. It wasn't Max's fault. It wasn't the coaching fault. But we're going to come in here and we're going to do things right now." And Max on the same board, the same page. And yeah, we can say his name because now he's our quarterback. Chess versus checkers. Just saying. Nothing raised on me. Feels like 98 all over again. 
98. That's when it was. <laughs> Bledsoe didn't do anything for you in 98 either? <laughs> no. <Nope. Mm-mm-mm. laughs> No. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for the mailbag. You guys got anything else on the top of your heads on the Patriots, Patriots side of things? What a yeah, yucky just, uh, schedule, real quick, Gobby. Sorry, the schedule came out yucky. I'm not. I'm not for it. No real. Uh, elaborate a little. Elaborate a little more. It just seems like it's just like, schedule. It's just a very bland schedule. Not really anything that you could circle and be like, "Oh, this is gonna be a good game." It's just meh. It's the NFC East. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. It's the NFC East, and you finish third, so you have third place teams yeah. across the other divisions that you're playing. Yeah, just say meh. I'll say meh when I looked at the schedule, uh, and I didn't get the full schedule, but you got the home and aways. Yeah, mm-hmm. I found so. ten wins, fairly easy. You want to do it next? Show. <laughs>